Sure. Good morning. I hope everybody can can hear us out here. Uh, all right. I'm trying to make sure everybody can hear us out here. Uh, as you come in, uh, if you can, please uh, like and share. Try not to hold everybody too long here this morning. Uh, well, I did grateful to God for allowing us another chance to be here. Listen, give me a thumbs up if you can hear me so I know I'm being heard. I don't want to, uh, I want to make sure that, that, uh, okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Harrison Jonas. Sister Barbara Woodyard, I think there's Sister Barbara, happy Thanksgiving to all y'all. Sister Barbara Woodyard, and I have a few others on here. Uh, 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 this is a, a, a day of Thanksgiving, great morning. Yeah, Sister Barbara, good to see you. Um, again, my wife is on here. Thank y'all for joining me here uh, this morning. Uh, I want to uh, send greetings out to everyone. Normally on a, on a uh, on a Thanksgiving morning, I'm uh, most of the time. Um, most of the time I'm I'm in a uh, church service. Uh, so Denise, God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Uh, normally I'm, I'm at a, uh, eight o'clock church service, uh, sometime, but, uh, uh, this morning, um, uh, I'm just, uh, starting something new, uh, and I know that, uh, everybody is, uh, uh, pretty well busy. Hey, just the rose, <laughs> what's going on? Good morning. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to all of y'all sisters. It's the bogus. Good to see you. Good to see you. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Uh, normally, I just uh, he wanted to get on here and share a word with everybody and uh, and uh, make sure uh, make sure we're able to uh, uh, make sure we're able to. Uh, I want to be able to share this with everybody. Share with everybody. Share with everybody. Uh, and let me tell you something. One of the, one of the things about uh, Thanksgiving, uh, uh, we should understand that every day is a day of Thanksgiving. Hey, hey, Deacon, I don't think it's Cyprian. Sister uh, Brenda Locke. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Sister Freddie Scott. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to all of you. To everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, uh, and and, and uh, we just we just doing doing our uh, doing our best duty today, Sister Amanda Johnson. Bless you. Uh. uh Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see all of you here. Good to see all of you here. I, I want to make sure that we got on today. Uh, we're not having Bible study. Uh, of course, I closed the church down for the week of Thanksgiving anyway. Uh, we will be back here Sunday morning. Uh, hey, hey. This is Teresa. Uh, Spence, Long Mile, all. all. All of the above. Good to see y'all this morning. Hope uh hope everybody's doing well out there. Uh, uh but we just uh came to share a word this morning. I was uh, uh ran into uh our own deacon uh throne lock this morning coming in here and uh and he uh he do what he normally do and that's work so and uh, uh which is a blessing and I thank God for him uh as well. Uh but uh 
we came on to share with all of you today. I'm trying to uh, finish letting everything load up before I get started, you know. I, you know. Uh, but it's, I'm grateful to see everybody here. Uh, uh, Sandra, hey. Hey, what's going on? So to say, <laughs> yeah, good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, good to see everybody this morning. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, I want to make sure I at least wanted to say a word or two that the Lord has given me today. And uh, one of the things I'm, I'm looking at now is uh, how bad things are. But then you think about how things could have been, you know. I look, I look at how far we have come. Uh, I remember of a song that they used to sing a long time ago. Say, "We come this far by faith, leaning on the Lord." Linda, is that Linda? Yeah, Linda Smith. Good to see you, sweetheart. Bless y'all. Bless y'all. I see y'all. I see y'all this morning. I see y'all this morning. God bless you. God bless you. Happy Thanksgiving. Love all of you. Love all of you. Uh, make sure we all uh, get everybody here. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. Sister Linda, bless you. Bless you. Uh, 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 I, I, I came on for a few uh I say a few minutes, it may turn into something else, because I believe uh, that the Lord has a word for all of us. And uh, during this Thanksgiving season, the old just meant, uh, I'm learning more and more to be thankful uh, in this day, in this time, and in this season, because God has been good to all of us. And, and since he has been good to us, we got a right to tell him thank you. Amen, amen, amen. Uh, uh, let's start off with the word of prayer. Father God, thank you this morning for this day, for this time. Thank you for this season. Thank you for this moment, this gathering that you have allowed us a chance to come and to be before your people to give a word uh, that would take them through this day. Uh, we don't come in this day lightly, but we enter it in giving you glory and thanks. And we give you glory now for all things. Let your word do a work. Let it set down in, within the pit of our belly and let it come within our souls that it may penetrate throughout our bodies. Let it hit our minds so our minds should be raised to a level of thanksgiving. Well, will you have us to be? We give you glory for all things in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, real quick here, real quick. Real quick, God bless you this morning. I'm not. I just want to cite two verses out of the hundred uh, Psalms, Psalms 100, Psalms 100. Uh, 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 Levita Davis, I think. Uh, Levita, good to see you. Good to see you. Great to see you. Great amount of, oh yeah, I know you. <laughs> yeah, I know you. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, this morning, out of the uh, hundred Psalms, uh, 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 yeah, oh yeah, Dick, he sure have. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, he brought us, he brought us from a mighty long way. Uh, uh, I, 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 out of the hundred song, uh, I want to talk about, uh, out of, out of the fourth and fifth measure of that hundred song, where it states here, he, he says to enter into his gates. Uh, with thanksgiving and enter into his courts with praise be thankful unto him and then he says to bless his name that fifth marriage is say for the Lord is good and his mercy is everlasting and his truth endured to all generations to all generations. Now let's look at this real closely here. Uh, when you look at the fact of the word enter, uh, when I when I look at this measure, it talks about enter into his gates. Enter, enter. The entrance of a day 
uh, is how we enter in somewhere, you know. Uh, uh, the entrance of what we go into uh, says an important piece as to how everything would transpire. Uh, I have a saying, and, and I'm going to use it this morning. Uh, uh, you make the day by what you say. Listen to me real good. You make the day by what you say. Your entrance into the day starts the magnification of the magnitude of your day. Let, let me let me let me get a little more closer home with you. Uh, 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 the way you enter into the presence of God is the way you should enter into your daily task. Uh, number one, you should open up with the word of prayer. That's 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 key point of emphasis because God woke you up this morning. The art of waking you up is for you to see something new that you've never seen before. He woke you up this morning. When he woke you up this morning, you have now the opportunity and the obligation to give God thanks. See, we don't wait to Thanksgiving to give God thanks. We don't wait to Thanksgiving to give him praise. Every, every day of our life, Deacon just said it over here for me, and I didn't have to even say it. He said, every day, every day is a day of Thanksgiving. God has been good to all of us, and if he's been good to you, you got to show some signs and tell him thank you. See, as a matter of fact, we got to understand and daily note that in this moment of Thanksgiving, that it's not about us. It's about the God that we serve. When you are thankful, when someone gives you something, your art of, of, of where you are should say thank you. Uh, 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 when God does something for you, the praise of our lips should come out fluently. A fluent thank you goes a long way. Every time, every time you look into the matter of what life has brought. And let me tell you something. Life has dished us some blows. I mean, this year alone, believe it or not, we have faced COVID-19. And now a lot of us are at home and we're uh, 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 trying to stay uh, uh, under the guidelines uh, during this pandemic. And, 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 and I get it. I understand it. But let's just uh, uh, help you understand something here. When you look at the fact of Thanksgiving, we really need to be thanking God. Because a lot of us have illnesses that should have taken us out of here. We have illnesses that should have counseled us out. We should have been dead. We should have been sleeping in our graves. But the fact of the matter is the Lord kept us. And let me tell you something. When he keep you, you, you owe him a praise. Let me tell you something. Every morning you wake up, it's a new morning for you to tell him thank you because outside of where you are, you would not be had it not been for the grace of God. Why? Because he woke you up this morning. Hey, 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 listen, listen, listen. Victory comes to those who wake up. Now, you heard what I say. Victory comes to those who wake up. When you wake up, when you wake up, that means you realize where I am now, I was not yesterday. I was sick yesterday, but I'm well today. Why? Because he guided me through a night of trouble, a night of pain. Weeping and do it for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And when we when we when we look at at how we enter, you look at the fact of where you enter into a uh, 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 God's presence, into your days. He said, enter into His gates. With thanksgiving, be thankful when you enter in. See, this doesn't just say when you go to church, enter into God's day. Yeah, 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 this is God's day. This is the day. Each day belong to God. This is the day that the Lord have made. We're going to rejoice. The gates are we enter into a new day. That's a gate you enter. Much like you enter into your car to drive your car, you enter into the gates of, of what God have allowed you to see. You enter into the job scene of what God have allowed you to go and process your application and get an interview for you. You enter into the gates to where you where you are able to not only go there, get that application, sign it out, then get the job, but then you're able to 
to go ahead on and work the job. After the interview, you enter into the gates. When you look at the fact of your entrance and how you enter in, you know the process of your entrance. Now you have the ability to give God praise for what he has blessed you with because you entered the right way. You enter with the heart of thanksgiving. You enter with the, with, with, with the praise of on your lips. You enter saying hallelujah. I give you glory. You enter into the fact that it wasn't for the Lord who was on my side. I just don't know where I'll be. You, you, you enter. You enter. You, the way you enter is the way God gonna bless you. See, As a matter of fact, even when we don't enter right, don't you know that the Lord still blesses you? I'm trying to, I'm trying to tell y'all, excuse me for a minute, it's about to get ignorant up in here, because when you look around and you see how everything is going on, and, and, and all hellish things have broken loose, we have gone through racism, we have gone through a, 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 a public demeanor, you've gone through people uh, 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 saying all kind of uh, uh, crazy things, uh, stuff that going on in the White House, stuff going on just all everywhere in the government, in the in the school system, hey, everywhere, everything, everything is going haywire. But in the midst of all the hellish things that could ever go on, even in our own lives, when things go on in our own lives, we got to be able to give God a great. Thank you after all the hell that you have gone through. You can still say, I'm still here. Enter his gates of thanksgiving into his court with praise. Be thankful unto him. Be thankful to the Lord. And you heard it. Be thankful unto the Lord. Be th listen, listen, Lord, you brought me. Lord, you brought me. And, and, I, and, and I'm going to use brought me for the longest because you got to look at You got to look at it. You didn't bring yourself. You didn't give yourself the activities of your limbs. You didn't give yourself the eyesight to see. You didn't give yourself the ear, a uh, 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 sense to hear. But but since God have, have 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 came into your life, and you recognize who He is. See, people don't like to recognize who God is, but they want to recognize pain and suffering. People don't want to recognize who God truly is, but then they want to recognize the heartache and pain that they've taken some folk through and then some stuff they went through and they've been buried down. No, pick yourself up. I ain't dead today. I'm alive and well. I'm kicking today. I got to give him glory for all that he done for me. So that's why, that's why, hey, listen, my, my excitement level goes up when I think of his goodness. Now, y'all, excuse me for a minute, indulge me. Please indulge me. Because sometimes I've learned that in this life, I've got to holler. I've got to holler. i got to give him glory for all that he's done. Why? Because he's been just that good. Now, now, when we look at this next bless, he said, bless his name. He said, for the Lord is good. The Lord is good. Uh, he, he is good. He is wonderful. He is gracious. He is better than great. He is good to all of us, even when we don't really deserve it. For the Lord is good. He's good. He's been good before you got here. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you how good he is. He's so good to while you were yet a sinner, he died for you. That's how good he is. He's so good to his blood. Uh, uh, when when it started to drain out of the body of Jesus, it reached down and covered me through all generations to come down to my generation, to come down to the generations behind me. God's blood has covered all of the Lord is good. He's good. Look, he is good. It's good. I wish you would please wave at somebody and tell them the Lord is good. If you don't know that, I, I know, I know we can't, we can't high five and we can't touch each other right now, but I'm telling you right now, you can throw your hands up and wave them across the screen and let somebody know that my God is good. He's good. He's good. The Lord, the Lord is good and his mercy is everlasting. It's everlasting. It's, it's going to last. His mercy lasts. It's ever, it's for everlasting. It never runs out. His mercy is ever, it, 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 it never have a limit on mercy. His mercy is everlasting. His mercy never runs out. His mercy, matter of fact, his mercy soothes our case. I'm, I'm trying to tell you, Lord have mercy. His mercy soothes our case. 
when you got a God that will show you mercy in the midst of where you are, you got a great God. Hey, hey, as they say, what a mighty God we serve. So, 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 so when you look at, when you look at, when you look at the mercies of God, when you look at how merciful God is, it doesn't matter whether the, whether the storm rises or the wind blows, God's mercy is everlasting. Then they say his truth. Endure it through all generous his truth. You know what his truth is? His word. His word, his word. Thy word, O Lord, is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Study. The Bible says, study to show thyself approval unto God, but his word. Also, the scripture says his word is settled where? In heaven. It's settled in heaven. What God ordained, he has maintained. His word settles us. His word is our antidote, his truth. The truth of the matter is that that, that Jesus is the truth. <laughs> if Jesus is the truth, I'm trying to tell y'all, listen, y'all better hold my mute when I'm trying to tell you. Jesus is the truth. The Bible says that, uh, and they shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Whom the Son set free. He's free indeed. We know the truth because we know who Jesus is. Now, perhaps by chance, there may some be some people who don't know who Jesus is. But listen at me. Listen at me real good. Just in case you don't know him, I want, to, I want you to really get to know the Lord for yourself in your life, in your walk, in your talk in your ability to function. I want you to know that God Almighty himself came and sent his son, Christ Jesus, to die uh, on the cross for your sins and mine. But he didn't just stay dead, but he got up with all power. I'm thankful this morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm thankful this morning. I'm grateful this morning. I appreciate God this morning because he sent his son to have to have himself put in harm's way for my justification. He was put in harm's way for your justification. You know, you know, when you look at the fact of where Jesus uh, 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 is uh, uh, for us as of today, we are not limited to his access. We can call on him anytime day or night. We can call on him. He's on the main line. Tell him what you want. You can tell him. You can tell him. You can tell him. We don't have to shortchange the Lord. You don't have to shortchange him because he comes through every time. As a matter of fact, somebody said this statement is he may not come when you want him, but, but, but he's always on time. He's an on-time God. Yes, he is. So when you look at the fact of, of how of how Thanksgiving should be. The entrance of Thanksgiving. How you enter in says a monument to who you truly serve. Yeah, your entrance. How you enter into where you are says a lot about who you serve. You make the day by what you say. The power of life and death, Proverbs says, is in the power of the tongue. You make the day by what you say. The true heart of thanksgiving is to be thankful at all times. Thessalonians uh, 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 says that in everything give thanks. <laughs> For this is the will of of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Uh, that's right. You can call him up. You can call call him up. You can call on the Lord. Tell him what you want. I ain't, I ain't shame. I ain't shame. Hey, listen, if you need him to come through right where you are, all you got to do is call him. Call him. Call him. Call him. His name is Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I like to use this statement all the time. He is the one that set us free. As a matter of fact, Jesus is the master motivator to life, seen and unseen. He, when I, What I'm saying is for you, beloved, is simply this. What you don't know about him is great about him. And what you will find out about him is going to be magnified greatly in front of your eyes. So when I look at the fact 
of who he is and what he's done. I, I don't get praise to Buddha, Muhammad, uh, uh, Confucius. I don't get praise to them because they're all gods I can see. But give me a God that I can't see, but yet he can work and move in ways that's beyond man's mentality of mind. See, God moves in ways that is far higher above the things that we could see on this earthly realm. God moves in a way that's 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 uniquely beyond the mentality of man's mind. Man's mindset is limited. But God's ability of mindset is over the top. He's over. He's great. I'm telling you, he's greater than the greatest great. As a matter of fact, let me put it like this here. After all the hell that you've been through, you ought to still have joy. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 after, all, after all the damage that had been done, after all, all that people had to say about you and and, and you know how people do. They they remember what you used to do. They remember how you act and, and want to talk you down like you ain't like you know like you ain't nothing. But let, let's let's just put it out there like this here. When you look at the fact of what could have been, you understand now where you are. And let me tell you something. This this is where this is where my shouting point is. Uh, uh, but because of where I was, does not hinder me from letting God allow me a chance to see another day. As a matter of fact, the, the Bible says it like this here. He said he let the sun shine on the evil as well as the good. He let the rain uh, rain on the just as well as the unjust. So there is no distinction to who we bless. I'm telling you right now, his blessings flows out fluently. Hey, 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 we, hey, we, we, we are blessed every day day. We are blessed every day. Listen to me. We are blessed every day. Just in case somebody don't know it now. Listen, sweethearts, you are blessed every day. The moment you wake up, you are truly blessed. So that's why we ought to be able to give thanks and praise to God for all that he's done for us. Now listen, now I'm been a little bit over my time. Well, no, not really. I'm still in time. Uh, uh, when we look at it, uh, 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 the, the art of Thanksgiving is to be able to realize, to uh, uh, you know, smell the roses. Life, life is way too short. Life is way too short. I'm just telling you, God, no, God help me today. Life is too short for us to be sitting around here, getting angry, getting bitter, getting upset about little things or nothing. Stuff that can be taken care of and handled. Even if you can't handle it or take care of it, what you need to do is turn it over to the Lord. Turn it over to the Lord. And in the midst of you turning it over to him, what you need to do is to tell him thank you for handling it. Because it's bigger than you. You gotta understand, it's, it's it, to you, let me, let me put it like this here. There was a time when I thought that everything was coming at me. And I'm just talking about physically me. And there was a time. There was a time I, 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 you know, I felt bad about a lot of stuff because it came at me. But when you look at the fact of who God is, when you look at who you serve and you realize who you serve, you'll understand that it's not about you. It's about the God that you serve. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bro. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is, ain't he good? I'm trying to tell you. Hey, listen, you need to do a, 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 a taste test. Try the Lord out. <laughs> Try the Lord out. See, see, see when he come through for you. Because once you taste him, you ain't going to get enough of him. You you will not get enough of them, and, and and that's that's why your praise come in to place. I mean, I'm telling you, some folk like to be shamed, don't like to lift their hand, but I'm be studying that. I lift my hands, I clap, I do my dance. I mean, it, listen, everybody who's anybody got their own dance. Now you ain't got to be uh, two stepping a whole lot. You can wave your hand. Mm -hmm. You know, ain't nothing wrong waving your hand for the law. Uh, you can bob your head if you want to. Ain't nothing wrong with bobbing your head for the day. Hey, it's all in God's direction of praise. The way we praise him. 
the way we lift our hands to him, the way we give him glory is how he receives us. And, and not only does he receive our praises, but, 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 but he blesses us continually. Oh yeah. He blesses us continually. So, so, so we got to look at it, look at it for what it's worth. I want you to understand and realize that in this day of time, uh, 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 that God is moving. He's moving. And, and listen, God is going beyond our expectation. This is a new season. And I know everybody was talking about uh, uh, this election and how it passed over. God has blessed us. Uh, we get a chance to see something new that we have not seen before. Uh, uh, God, God always uh, uh, put in position people who he knows will get the job done. And, and 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 again, like I said, in this in this season of Thanksgiving, we got we got to learn that 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 really it is 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 not is not about us, but it's about the God that we serve. That's that's all. It's about the God that we serve. That's it. At the beginning of the day, to the end of the day, is all God. It's all God. It's all God. So, how you enter your day is how you're going to end. Either you enter your day as a victor or you end it as a victor. I'll I do you one better. If you enter it as a victim, then you're going to end it as a victim. When you look at it, look at for the, what is worth. I'm not where I was yesterday. I'm in a whole new day. I'm in a whole new day. I'm in a whole new arena. And I have a new time and a new day to tell them thank you. Our Father, our God, thank you today. We bless your name, Father. For you have come in and done a work for us that is greater than us. You saved us in this day and time. You've made a way for us. We are thankful. We are grateful. We are appreciative to the things that you have done in our lives. We give you glory, Master. Your word says that not unto us, O oh Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory. We give you glory. Now, those who need saving this morning, God, you go in and do a work for them. Save them. Save them. Even as we share this all over this Facebook, I, God, we I, I pray now that you do a work in each life. Let your glory fill the hearts and minds of the people. Let the heart of thanksgiving come into their minds. Let it be embedded in their spirits. Let them realize that they are not by themselves. Some, somebody feel like they're all alone and they're alone. No, the Lord says, I'm right there with you. You may be going through your valley. You may be going through your shadow of death experience. But the Lord is with you. We give God glory now. We say thank God now for the work that he's going to do. Those who are sick in their bodies, touch them now. Psalm under the sound of my voice is, is going through this uh, coronavirus era, not knowing uh, where their help is coming from. Let me tell you, God, we pray now that you would allow them to look to the hills from which cometh their help. But we truly know that all their help comes from the Lord. Those who are in their hour of bereavement, their hour of sorrow, we pray for families now who have lost their loved ones. We pray now that you come around them, God. Lock your arms of love around them. Let them know, God, that you're there. Let them know that you're there on the throne to hear their every cry. You're there to hear their every plea. Bring about peace of mind within that family's life. Today, we give you glory. 
We say thank you. Thank you for opening up doors for everybody. Touch our church family. As a matter of fact, touch everybody. Everybody as a whole. Everybody, everybody, every church, every pastor, every leader, every, 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 everybody that's in leadership roles, that have leadership positions. God, we pray now, God, that you would give them the guidance, the vision, and the way to do what you have called them to do in this day and time. We say thank you in advance for what you're going to do. We give you glory. For how you're going to open up doors for a lot of people who are in need of jobs. Father, we thank you now that you're going to allow them a chance, the ultimate chance, to be blessed so that they can be a blessing to you in return. We give you glory for all that you've done. And we say thank you. We say thank you. Thank you in advance for the lives that's going to be touched, saved, healed, and delivered. We give you glory. We give you glory for all things. Meet us now at our point of need. Let your glory fill us. Let your glory be inside of us. Let your glory shine through this time of pandemic. Even as they go out through this day, Father, I pray now that you, would, you really would allow the art of thanksgiving to reign supreme. The praises ring to you because you have caused us to triumph with victory over our enemies. We give you glory. We give you praise now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. God bless you. God bless you. God keep you as our prayer. Uh, I want to say thank you for everybody that joined uh, us here today. This is uh, Pastor Harris from the Mount Aid Missionary Baptist Church. I'm giving God glory for all that he's done. I saw uh, my mom has joined on here as well. Uh, and and uh, uh, I'm sitting here, I came up and uh, <laughs> ran the uh, Deacon Lot. And, uh, uh, but uh, I'm grateful uh, and he's here with me at the church. And uh, uh, just thank God for all of you uh, that have joined us. Listen, uh, to everybody who don't feel love, please share this. Tell them God loves them. I love them. I love you. Uh, just in case nobody tell you, I'm telling you today, I love you. God loves you. And let me tell you something. You need us. We are here uh, as a church. Uh, we're, we're at 9470 uh, Samuel Jenkins. Uh, Senior Highway uh, in the great city of Daphne in the state of Alabama. We give God glory for all of you for joining us today. Uh, and I'd like to say Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Every day is a day of Thanksgiving. But on this day, let our Thanksgiving be magnified through our life, through our living, and through the love that we share. Uh, towards God's people. Uh, again, thank you for joining us. I, we'll be back here uh, uh, Sunday morning uh, with our own uh, uh, Deacon Percy Jenkins. Uh, uh, I want to say uh, to those, listen, I've been hearing a lot of people have been knowing I don't know you, but God bless you for joining us. <laughs> I'm telling you. God bless you. I, I thank God for you. Uh, and let me say, it's not about Reverend Harris. It's, it's not about Pastor Harris. I'm telling you, it's about God. I'm all about God. I love, I love the Lord. I love the Lord, and uh, He heard my cry, and so I've got to serve Him. That's that's my that's my goal. At, at the end of the day, when I shut my eyes, all I want to hear is "Well done." That's it. That's it. He may you may not remember my name. You may not remember who I am. After 10, 15, 20, even 30 years, all I want to hear the Lord say, whether I'm known or not, because I don't care, all I want to hear the Lord say is well done. You've been faithful over a few things. <laughs> Come on up. I'm going to make you rule over many. God bless you. Uh, God keep you in that prayer. Uh, we love you. We'll see you Sunday morning, 10 o'clock, Sunday school. I only get person Jenkins, and then we'll come back uh, for the eleven o'clock 
power, and uh, and uh, we're going to let the Lord do what the Lord do, and let's just have his way. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we say this morning, amen, and thank God.